Geisinger Health System sounding the alarm over the current surge of COVID-19. Geisinger CEO says all of its hospitals are at or above capacity and doctors describe conditions as even worse than during the peak last year. It's our top story on Newswatch 16 at 6. Good evening, I'm Lisa Washington. And I'm Scott Schaefer. Geisinger Health System held a news conference today to speak about the challenges being posed by the ongoing pandemic. Almost all of Geisinger's hospitals are over capacity and cases continue to rise. Newswatch 16's Chris Keating has the alarming numbers. COVID-19 cases continue to surge throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. With cases on the rise, Geisinger Health System held a press briefing to discuss what medical professionals are seeing in their hospitals. It's really strapping and putting strain on the overall health care uh, system and infrastructure, not just Geisinger. I know this is going on across our region, across our communities, and really across the country as well. Many of Geisinger's campuses across our viewing area are operating over 100% capacity. Many of the folks in these hospitals are receiving treatment for COVID-19, and 90% of those individuals are not vaccinated. I recently took care of a married couple who refused the vaccine and had refused proven therapies that my brilliant infectious disease colleagues have vetted and designed protocols for for us. And they both prematurely left their family members behind them. Geisinger doctors say both infection and hospitalization totals are already a bit higher now than it was last year at this time. We're starting oxygen on COVID patients in the hallway and those hallway beds are often double and triple bunked. And we're doing that because we're trying to make space to see more patients. Geisinger says it is struggling to keep up with the demand for non-COVID related cases. This has contributed to 15 hour wait room times just to be admitted into the ER. We're starting to practice waiting room medicine, which is something I never imagined I would see in my career. We're diagnosing perforated bowel and running CAT scans and doing lab work and any sort of test that we can from patients that are waiting for us in the waiting room. Geisinger is urging folks to get vaccinated if they have not already. You can sign up for a vaccine using the link found on WNEP.com. Chris Keating, Newswatch 16.